Hi, welcome to class. We're the only two right now, but the other ones will show up eventually, right? Hmm. I hate my life. I hate my life. Hey, Professor Sunrise Productions! Hello, class. Professor Sunrise here. In today's class, we're going to take a look at Branded Beast versus Branded Regain. You've all probably noticed ever since Gabriel Nats and his crew topped EU YCQ and then NA YCQ, there's been a lot of Dragonlink players going for a Branded Regain type approach in favor of a Branded Beast type approach, which I'm doing. So in this video, we're going to take a look at both of those approaches, how both of them in a vacuum interact, so what the pros and cons are of each, and then how they interact with the non-engine of the current meta. I'm going to exclude the decks out of the current meta just because I feel like that's too much for this video. And a lot of those are kind of simple. I also went through those things uh, a lot in the past and deck profiles, stuff like that. So we'll just take a look at those things in this video. So without further ado, seal pass on that subscribe button and let's get right into the video. So let's get into this discussion of regain versus branded bees. I don't know why the resolution on this picture is so low, but this branded beast is looking pretty crisp. So let's take a look at the branded regain gain setup and what the pros for that are. First of all, of course, you just get more advantage having a draw one in your turn and then in your opponent's turn is really good. And the amount of follow up you will just get from rock hard advantage is really well. It also plays really good into an Nibiru. If you have a regain set up early, you always have that one extra body which you can get if you get Nibiru. And you have some sort of ruler protection as well because in the most optimal combo, you will use this Pater to extend your combos for free because you use two bodies to get two bodies back, one this Pater and one Revive recycling resources on the fly maybe but more importantly getting the uh, this data into the graveyard so that you can revive it with regained and the most important aspect in my opinion is recycling important one of uses cards like striker like the rocket targets like a recharger or something that you can always revive something off a tracer for example are all really important for you to have an amazing amount of follow-up and get more advantage out of the raw card advantage that you get because once you've set up the regain and you recycle your striker dragon and in your own turn maybe you recycle your baby dragons the one baby dragon which you recycles can link off into a striker dragon striker effect target recharger and then you can have a huge chain of plays of gaining for example, a Dispater. Dispater summons back a banished Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. The Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon then revives the Borrowland, and you all just got those three cards of one summon, which is just absurd. For the cons of the setup, the lack of disruption, unless you have full combo, is nothing to scoff at. Branded Beast is just really solid at giving you disruption with a very little investment. And if you don't go for full combo and you only have like Borrowland Savage, you kinda are like playing a Towers deck and just trying to protect the Borrowland. Of course, you can go with the seal with that as well, and then you have decent amount of follow up, but there definitely can be a lack of disruption, especially if you take into consideration that you probably won't have a lot of non engine because the combo requires lots of lots of resources to begin with. And if you don't have those resources and you still go for the combo, it ironically plays really hard into a nib. If you don't have the levy hand trip with the full combo, there are certain lines in the combo where you just get hard punished by not having the additional extender. So you can only realistically go into this combo with like three to four card combos. And if you don't have those, the combos can be very, very easily disrupted by one nib. And it also is just less diverse of a disruption. Not having the Brannock Beast in the back row can hinder your disruption against certain combos, against certain decks. But other than that, uh, the cons are looking a little low in my opinion, especially if you don't go for Brannock Regain setups, if your hand doesn't ask for it and if you are not greedy. This regain setup is looking really good and I've started to like it more and more if the hand is good enough for it. The Branded Beast setup on the other hand plays really well into everything but back row hate basically. Be it board breakers in the form of evenly dark ruler, be it low impact hand traps which were thrown on your Branded Beast, be it the nip setup where you at least still have a bestial on the board with the Branded Beast so you are not really too scared about that, or be it a uh, draw which got summoned, uh, which like, got like hit on your Lubellion search. You can always have the option to get into that Branded Beast very easily. Also, you can just set up a Branded Regain with it. Uh, lots of times, if I don't really go for full combo, and if I could use Ravine to maybe send like a Levy and get a Safer, sometimes I would just send a Serenir to get a Branded Regain into the graveyard because I already resolved my Branded Beast. 
or like my Lubellion to get to that. So you can have kind of best of both worlds and still use the regain in the opponent's turn to go plus two there. Not having the ability to do that in your own turn, of course, is a little worse, but it's still very solid to have Brennan Beast and regain plus seal Savage. So there's nothing to scoff at. You can get kind of both best of both worlds with the Brennan Beast setup as well. And it's a generic, super good disruption, especially against back row. Seal, Boral, and Savage doesn't really do anything against set 5. With this version, you at least have to, uh, the ability to pop one in the uh, like in the opponent's end of main phase, and then use your Savage in the opponent's turn to have at least uh, some more disruption, especially because the Burned Beast is just alive in the opponent's turn again. And like in this point here, it just is super generic. You can't really go wrong with a Branded Beast. Branded Regen sometimes is just better, but Branded Beast is always super, super, super solid in my opinion. The cons are... You just have a little less follow-up. The follow-up is still good off seal, of just the way bestials and dragons work right now. It's still insane. It's just less good. Uh, and you kind of out to lose to back row hate or you have to put way more emphasis on countering back row hate. For example, in the Bar Baroness Regain setup and having like seal or not even seal but just Boral and Savage and you get like hit on the regain with a lightning storm or feather dust. So you can just let that let this go. You don't really need the regain all too much. Yeah, of course, it's nice advantage, but... Uh, basically them using a card to just hit your follow-up or some of your follow-up uh, while not even scratching your board is not r really good for them. Um, and in the Branded Beast setup, if you have a Seal Savage Branded Beast and they Lightning Storm your uh, Beast or like Cosmic or whatever, you're basically forced to use your Savage there just because a lot of your power is like focused in this Branded Beast and you just have to protect it, which is not... Too bad, of course, you have a Savage with it, but you can get punished with that a little bit at least. And it also can be played around a little bit. It does have those windows in the standby phase, draw phase, battle phase, where the opponent can play around it. It doesn't come up too often, but I thought I'd just mention it because it's a card, especially in simplified game states, and when they play into your board, and then they can just easily out it in, like, for example, your draw phase, for example, or something like that. Uh, so this definitely can come up. Now that we had a look at both of the cons and pros of both setups, let's take a look at the non-engine which is played right now and then take a look at how both setups interact with the non-engine. So first of all, there are low impact hand trips like Ash and Imperm right now. That's basically it. There are very little decks which play more and maybe Akashiga hand trip is one of them. Then there's Nip and Droll and some side decks, but not all of them. Droll is getting more and more popular and will be even more popular next format, but for now, uh, Nib is in a few main decks, Droll is in a few side decks, but other than that, it's not too crazily um, represented. Evenly and Ruler, though, are in every side or main deck, basically, apart from, like, Dragon Link players, which, ha like, apart from decks in general, which have to hyper-focus on a Ryzeart. Every other deck plays Evenly Ruler, because it's just such a strong combo. And then there's still Bastilles in a lot of side decks and even some main decks in the form of Dragon Mirrors. And Regain interact pretty decently with those. Uh, the infinite follow-up plus especially the, the Striker Dragon line is insane against those board breakers because the downside of set board breakers is that you just you won't be able to kill the opponent and then having that one card turn into basically full board again is just really good against set board breakers, especially because you still have some sort of follow-up and disruption because if they dark roller you, you still can still pop the Druze Worm, then you still have two forms of disruption of that, plus the regain. So it's not all over, and then just having five to six cards in hand is just GG at this point. If you are getting drolled or opening suboptimal and you get hit by non-engine in the form of the hand traps, like the low-impact hand traps, kind of hard because you just don't have enough. The regain does very little for you. If you only end on like seal plus regain and you don't have the Dispada in there because you didn't have access into the rocket engine because you got hand trapped, it does very little for you. Yeah, you have lots of resources, uh, but you don't really have a use for those resources because your opponent will probably just overwhelm you if you only have one seal, nothing else. And Regain is l l really good against um, Bistials. I don't know why I said decent here, uh, because every time they use a Bistial, they have to think, okay, do you want to hit the Bistial so that you cannot draw, uh, like cannot summon off Regain, but you'll always get a draw of Regain. So if you are in a Bistial mirror, in a Dragon Mirror, having access to this Regain is really solid just because you will just keep plussing in the if the opponent does any of their plays, so that's really solid. Beast, on the other hand, is really good if you get drolled or you have those suboptimal openers, like we said, where Seal, Regain doesn't really do a lot. Seal branded Beast is really solid because that's basically either two disruption, one line of follow-up, or three disruptions in the form of Seal and then branded Beast pop throughs from. So that's already really good if you only end on those two through to three hand traps. Seal plus branded Beast probably is going to win you the game. 
steel plus regen is probably not going to win you the game and you could just get otk other than that it's decent across the whole board it's good against everything uh, if you get dark rulers you still have branded beast plus druze worm if you get even lead you most of the time will still have that plus lots of follow-up the low impact hand test like we said uh, the branded beast is also better the high impact hand drop like drilled and nip to some extent it's also decent and better it is less good than regen in lots of sin uh, things though for example every time where regain is really good branded beast might also be decent and you might get baited into hey branded beast is like super solid here right but you have to uh, take a look at the long grasp and especially the board breakers if you notice or you know your opponent doesn't play any hand traps and you have a hand which can just go for this full combo have a shit ton of resources on the board and in the hand and your opponent never is gonna have enough resources to, to deal with those the regain is just gonna be the better option. Yeah, Branded Beast, you might still win the game, but it is definitely a, a regained call in a lot of scenarios if you know that your opponent is only on those board breakers because the sheer amount of resources you get of regain is just a little better than the amount of Branded Beast's uh, disruption will ever offer you. But those are calls you have to make on a game-to-game -game basis. If you know you're up against Lab, for example, Branded Beast is still probably gonna be better. You know you're up against Runic, Fur Hire, whatever, you know there's no hand traps, no nothing and you have the hand which calls for the regain play, the regain is gonna be the clear winner. And like I said, to conclude, regain is really good if you have a full combo and you know the current board breakers are being played because the board breakers can't really catch up to all of the resources you will be amassing in your hand. If you resolve your regain turn for turn, it's just absurd. But Beast plays really well in a simplified game state and into things like droll, suboptimal plays etc etc so you've seen the list of gabriel nets and co probably a lot of people were cutting the beast while i think this is a misplay i think going for the regain if the situation asks for it being you have full combo you can go for everything plus levy hand trip and infinite follow-up then the regain is gonna be definitely better lots of time a beast will still be fine and in lots of game ones i still just go for the beast steel savage because it's just super safe. You never know what you're up against. You never know what your opponent is playing. Maybe they're playing this random lava golem, whatever. And you just want to be safe. But once you know what you're up against, going for this full combo regain thing can definitely be really, really, really good. Hope you guys could get a nice introduction of Branded Beast with regain. What my thought process behind them are. Definitely would still keep both of them in the deck, like I said. And without further ado, class is dismissed. You guys are free to leave. Professor Sunrise out. P -p -p Peace.